We might not be able to make dinosaurs from scratch, but we do have the DNA from many more recently extinct animals, preserved in fossils or jars. De-extinction is a name for what some scientists are trying to do using bits of these animals to bring them back to life. There are three ways you could do it. The first way is called backbreeding. Just as we made cows from wild urex a long time ago by choosing their most desirable traits, we could make them wild again by gradually selecting for traits that we think the original animal may have possessed. But this is sort of a guessing game. Okay, so what we might try instead is making a clone of that animal. The same way we made Dolly the sheep, by dropping the DNA of the species we want into the egg of its closest relative. With the latest methods, you can even plug up parts of the strand that have worn down over time with the DNA of a living animal. So far, the closest we've come to making something like this work is an extinct ibex born out of a goat that lived for 10 minutes. Given the crazy cost of doing this, many wonder if we shouldn't be focusing on species that are actually still here. After all, it's easier to keep them around than it is to try to bring them back. The American buffalo, which is the size of a small car and respects no fence, has had a hard enough time getting along in places it used to. Where would we put these giant species? Why should we be playing God? Many people's answer is, it was our fault. 10,000 years ago, it was 90% wild animals to 10% domestic, and now it's reversed. Could de-extinction be our chance to make good with nature? Do you think selected areas of the wild could become havens for these big, wild wild tusked animals with big claws, hmm, maybe we should just do the cute ones. For scientists who are trying to resurrect the woolly mammoth, they point out how the arctic tundra is beginning to open up again due to changing temperatures, and that this awesome herbivore might actually be essential in keeping this massive new ecosystem in balance. Please friends, bond yourselves to DIY TV forever through selection of the subscription portal or go to DIY.org to get new skills and make cool stuff. Okay, thanks, bye.